this situational football being played on a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to it, and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. <laughs> will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty caught some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Locked and a handed off here to Gordon. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stacked him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Nothing fancy really on either side. They were just trying to punch it between the tackles, but could not get it done. That felt very old schoolish, didn't it? Because we always talk about how we spread it out on offense nowadays and try and create some running lanes. That one was really tight. Go get it. A big pile of bodies didn't quite get there. Fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. Jabril Peppers is deep for the Giants. He'll send this away to the Rocky Mountain Knight, and it's a good one. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Now second and seven for the 23. Looking to throw, Jones. And that throw behind his man, he missed him incomplete. End of the line facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Back to throw, Jones. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And Deontay Spencer deep for the Broncos. Taking right around the 44. So that one will be accepted. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at the 39 yard line. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. Big runner Williams there on the stop. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish an inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, Gordon once more. 
And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Territory needing only a few inches. They're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Gordon. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it. They got it. And the reason they were able to get it done. He ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. Now Gordon on first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down now, it's Gordon. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. 36 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. <laughs> So following the run by Gordon, here's first and ten. <laughs> Locked now to throw. On the swell, it completes to Sutton. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards, the final tally. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. 